welcome to another review. Now, in this review, we're going to be taking you down the single mold route. This single malt is one that is highly renowned out there from everybody in the whiskey community as one of the most accessible and one of the one of the best whiskies to ease people into whiskey drinking. It's a 15 year old, it's from the famous Diageo label and it is, of course, the beautiful Dal Winnie 15. Now this is a Highland whiskey. It's 15 years old, it's 43%. Like I've said, it is created a, well, it's a Diageo stable. It's from the highest distillery in Scotland, set in the windswept Grampian Mountains, with an unlimited supply of spring water, comes this delightfully gentle, delicately smoky malt. Now that description in itself, from the actual bottle, they're telling you that there's gonna be a little bit of smoke in here, they're gonna telling you that it's it's gentle that's the main thing about this is the the gentleness of it you know like i say they, they tout this as being a very good way to bring people in to whiskey drinking so let's take a look at the actual whiskey itself just give you one last little look at the bowl it's a nice bowl you know it is nice it looks nice on the collection to be honest with you um 15 years old 15 year old whiskies, you know you expect them to be quite expensive. This retails an average of 40 pounds. Uh, you do find it sometimes in supermarkets, but you're mainly looking at whiskey shops or from an online order to get it actually delivered to your door. Right, so, let's take a look at the whiskey. As you can see, 43%. Yeah, I would say it's had a little bit of coloration added to it. Probably some chill filtration. Um, the color of it, it's light, it's not too light, but it is fairly light, you know, there's not a lot of darkness to it. But, yet again, it is 15 years old. So let's check the viscosity of it. Let's have a look at that. You know, 15 years old. It's not super gloopy, but it has got legs. It has got some viscosity to it. Um, like I say, even though it's 15, it is only 43%. Let's see what we get on the nose from this. Mm. That's a very, very fluffy nose. It's not punchy, it's not alcoholic, there's no, there's no sharpness in there at all. A lot of fruit coming through this pear. Might just be because it's Christmas, but I would say there's Clementine, so stroke Satsuma's coming through in there as well, like a very slight orangey type smell. Not getting any smoke on the nose. Very creamy, very rounded. Marshmallows. <clears throat> the majority of that though is very very fruity now I was saying about the viscosity not being there now I've let it run down a little bit more it has got some fantastic legs to be honest with you for 43% there is some oiliness to it smells delicious just the smell from the smell of this you know if you were to put it in a flight and let people smell them if someone was quite new to whiskey and they were smelling this, it would not put them off of tasting it. But like I say, the majority of the smell there is a fruit. It's an orchardy, Christmassy, fruity basket type smell. A little bit of spice in there as well. It does smell delicious. It really, really does. It's um, like I say, Dalwini is some. It's it's a well known whiskey. Uh, it's and it, like I say, it is touted as the ideal beginner's whiskey. When you look through reviews and when you look on the internet about it and do any type of research, you know, it's, it's one that always pops up. And you put on, if I put on one of my social medias, what shall I drink tonight, and I put a picture of this up, and then everybody always says the Dal Winnie 15. Now, the name Dal Winnie, a little bit of a fun fact here for you, it comes from the Gaelic meaning the meeting of 
sheep and cattle drovers. So that is obviously why that's named. I reckon probably up in the high mountains of the Highlands, uh, they probably have a lot of sheep or shepherds and people who drive the cattle. And many years ago, that's probably where they used to meet up on a cold winter's day and maybe have a dram of this just to warm them up. But let's take it on the palate and let's see what we get. Mm. Super fruity. Very creamy. Not much alcohol in there at all, as in no burn for a 15 year old. It's rounded. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Pears. Pears on the taste. There's also like a buttery cakey component at the back there as well. But the cake has got like a honey, treacly type taste to it. Almost like a treacle sponge pudding. Raisins. Spice is definitely in there. The spice I would say is more of a sweet spice, like a nutmeg. You could imagine, I'm imagining treacle sponge pudding with a dust of a nutmeg over the top when I drink this. That is absolutely beautiful. It really is. And it's quite warming as well. It's very, very warming. I'm feeling it going down. I'm feeling it warming up my stomach. Like I say, you could imagine years ago, those cattle drivers, the sheep, the shepherds, having a dram of this when they've come down from the mountains on a cold winter's day. That would warm them up fantastically. It really, really would. Weedy, weedy. Like I say, it's not, it's not a kicker, it's not a puncher, it's beautiful, that really is. There's a lot of sweet components to it. A lot of fruit in there, butter, very creamy, fluffy. It is very, very fluffy towards the end. The spice is in there, like I say, you can definitely feel it on the cheeks. But towards the end, once all those flavours are rolled through, you're left with that cakey, buttery finish with a pinch of sharp fruit on top as well. I'd say there's definitely, even though I was picking up clementines in the nose, and I would definitely say there's an orangey component to this in the finish as well. But that is absolutely freaking lovely. That really is. You can really see why this is touted so well in the community and whiskey in general. I oh, bloody love that. That is so nice. It really, really is. Marks out of 10 for that. Fruity, buttery, beautiful concoction. Not too spicy, not too punchy, not prickly at all. It is super rounded, it really is. I could probably give this to my missus to try and she would probably like this, to be honest with you. Um, now that's an idea for a uh, video in the future. I let a sip of cast strength English whiskey company the other day, 59%. <laughs> if I'd have got that on camera, her reaction was priceless. I will have to do it just to like let you not see her reaction when she tries something like that. It is brilliant. Um, solid 9 out of 10. Solid 9 out of 10. It's got all the components for such a beautiful whiskey. For £40, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for something to put on your shelves that's an easy super sipper, you've got to get the Dow Winnie 15. You really, really have. It is a stunner. Beautiful. Right, fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, give it a like, give this video a like, give the channel a subscribe if you want as well, if you haven't already. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for continuing to support the channel. And I'm going to leave that one there. So you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next review.